you've ever had your password hacked or stolen, you know it's one of the worst feelings in the world. And I'm willing to bet that you didn't wake up that morning thinking that someone was going to hack your password. Unfortunately, the world we live in now requires extra tight security on almost every website you go to if you want to keep your information private and safe. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a few small changes you can make to your current password to ensure that you won't get hacked again. Stay tuned. Now, we used to live in a world where we could safely use our dog's name or our birth date as our normal password. And for years, we never had an issue. But with malware, spyware, keyloggers, phishing schemes being prevalent all over the internet now, it's becoming nearly impossible to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. But there's definitely one thing you can do to take your privacy back, and that's to make your password too difficult to crack. And with a few small changes, you can do this right now. So for the record, best practices not only indicate that you should change your password frequently, which is probably a good idea, but you should also never use one password for multiple websites. The reason for this is if someone does get your password, the first thing they're going to want to do is probably try to go on a social media and see if they can get into your account. And from there, they can get a wealth of information and then from there, Amazon and things that other people do every single day, and that's where it starts. They get in, they get your credit card information, and next thing you know, your bank accounts are drained. Now, while I do agree with this in principle, the alternative theory is that if your password is too difficult to crack, there's no reason why you couldn't use it on multiple websites. The problem is, is that regardless of how good your password is, some websites, user databases, do get hacked. So while it may be a pain, it's not a bad idea to change it frequently. But I'm going to show you a couple tricks that will help you out. The first thing I want to show you is a website I found that shows you how safe your password actually is against what's known as a brute force hacker attack. Now don't worry, this website doesn't store any of your data. It's just simply to show you based on the number of characters, the length of the password, uppercase and lowercase characters, special characters and all that, how realistic is it that your password could be brute force hacked? The website is my one login and you can get to it at www.myonelogin.com. I'll put the link down below there. Now when you get to the website at the home page, click on resources, then password strength test. Now on this page, Type one of your commonly used passwords in the box that says type a password. You can check the box to show your password to make sure you're typing it correctly. And again, this website never stores your data, so it's perfectly safe to type your password. You don't have to change it. This is just to test the strength. It's for information only. So for example, if your password is say, Destin2008, because of a great memory you had when you went to Destin, Florida, in 2008 on vacation. You can see by typing that in, that password is hackable in about 41 seconds. But if you took the same password theme of Destin2008 and created a new password of my favorite beach vacation ever was Destin2008, shorten it down to just the first letter of each of those words, in this case, MFB VEW capital D 2008. You take that 41 seconds and now you make it take about a thousand years to crack that password. For a little extra security, add an exclamation point to the end of it and now it would take about 5,000 years to brute force hack that password. This way, you can keep your same password theme, which is Destin 2008, but now you have enhanced the security of that password. Now I mentioned earlier about having to change the password frequently. You could simply add a one to the end of this new password and thereby increasing the chance of it being brute force hacked to about 21,000 years. And also, every time you're forced to change your password, you can simply change that one to a two and from a two to a three and so on and so on and so on. You keep the same general password, you keep the same general requirements for most websites including length of password, special characters, uppercase and lowercase numbers, etc. and you will never forget your password again. I hope this information was super helpful for you. You can never be too careful nowadays, but there are ways to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. So go change that password, sleep easy tonight, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.